but I'm constantly, constantly auditing the things that I'm letting in. And unfortunately, and fortunately, but unfortunately, that also means the people that you're surrounding yourself with. Um, are they lifting you up or are they allowing you to stay complacent? Are they allowing you to stay comfortable? I heard you talk about in a video, uh, auditing your circle of friends. And oh, yeah. it was a lot more in depth than I've heard most people go into it. And I want to touch on that because, you know, most people will tell you, obviously, that you're you're going to become the sum of the, the five people that you surround yourself with and all of those things. But you took it to another level, um, mm -hmm. you know, that I think people need to take it to. Because sure. I think when yeah. you just say that, a lot of times that just means in their mind adding people. But I think a big part of it is subtracting people uh, oh, yeah. and those people that are sucking time and that are just breeding negativity. It's like a cancer, uh, and I mm -hmm. flee from it at all times. But uh, talk a little bit about that process that you went through um, with auditing your circle and that you've shared with others. All right, so it's pretty simple. Um, what I do is first, you first you gotta audit yourself, right? So you write your name, you're like, Tyler. And then you have three categories, physical, financial, and spiritual slash personal development, right? Yep. Be real honest with yourself, just rate yourself. So if you're like, you know, ripped, then give yourself a 10. If you're some fat dude, give yourself a two, okay? On your physical. Yep. And then you're gonna take your financial and your spiritual as well. So you're gonna take those three numbers and you're gonna add them up, right? And then you're gonna have a number and you can divide that by three and that gives you an average of what your number is, right? Yep. Then you're gonna write down the other people you hang out with, okay? So a lot of times I tell people, well, if you're married, write down your spouse first because you're hanging out with that person a lot mm -hmm. and put where their numbers are as well. Then all the friends you hang out with as well, the ones you hang out most of the time with. And what you're going to find is this. You want to add all the average of all those peers you hang out with, add it up and get an average. Now, if that number is lower than yours, overall, you're going to be, you're going to start getting pulled down. Mm -hmm. So what do you do? Well, you start replacing some of those people that are higher rated. And you don't want to be a douchebag about it and just sure. be like, can't hang out with you, man. You're too low. Yeah, you scored just too simply, low on my list, bro. <laughs> just hang out with them a little bit less, man. Sure. Like instead of like every weekend, man, hang out with them once a month or something. My circle of friends of high performers, it's almost it's like, hey, what'd you read? What'd you read? Oh, yeah. oh I saw this snippet over here. Watch this video. Or, mm -hmm. you know, the high performers are always pulling these things into their lives that just give them that 1% advantage in, in all little areas. Yeah. And it seems like craziness to other people. Like, oh, you're too obsessed about how much water you drink. It's like, yeah. maybe, but maybe that's the thing that I won't even know five weeks from now sure. will give me the stamina that when a, a, a multi-billion dollar year comes down the line, I'm like, I'm ready. Yep. Give me an idea. I have one of my mentors. His name is Mike. He's about 57. Um, he sold his company for like three and a half billion dollars. But what he said to me is, Dan, he goes, he goes, what are you worth? I mean, financially, a couple hundred grand, whatever. <laughs> You know, I go, if you add up everything, sure. and he goes, yeah, really? He goes, well, you know what I'm worth. So if you listen to just a small percentage of what I'm telling you, what I'm showing you, let's say 5% or 10%, what would you be worth? And I'm like, $72 million. And so I just started mirroring him, doing exactly what he said. And it was amazing. I remember I went from making 144 grand that year before to 870,000 within one year. Jeez. Because I just did what he said, and he was like, that was easy, right? 